Hello friends and strangers, I am Heli and in this video I am taking you with me into Epic Battle Fantasy V where we are currently looking at our equipment and thinking if we might try some new fun combinations on some people. Now the Alchemist's Bow is going to decrease Anna's attack and magic attack quite significantly, but I think I want to try it. Inflicting random status effects on foes sounds like a fun thing to do, and I've enjoyed it very much with no legs. Now, do we want to stick with the armor she's got, or do we want to try something new? I do quite like the armor she's got, but I also like this magical skirt a lot. Randomly cast slime bunny. Sounds nice. And also the lovable status. Sounds good as well. It would decrease her attack stats even further, but it would increase her HP and defenses. And also it does have some quite useful resistances. Whoa, that is green. I also kind of like it. The resistances are way better than on this one. Lance, I think I seem to recall I was thinking about maybe changing your weapon. Oh yes, the Biohazard Blaster. I'd like to try this one out. And Matt. I do like the Fire Sword a lot. So, maybe let's equip that. Natalie. Magical skirt for you. I do quite like this armor she's got though. Maybe, maybe I will give the magical skirt to Anna. Yeah, let's try that. Also, I would like to see Anna's face. So, maybe we want to give her some other trinket thingy instead of this mask. Well, 
having extra AP is not a bad thing. Yeah, let's give her this one. And no legs. You are good. Yeah. Okay, let's roll with this equipment for a while. So I was thinking now would be a good time to revisit the crystal caverns. We have a hammer, so hello, what are you? I saw you there, snake thingy. Is there something hidden over here? Well, there's something there. But the snake came from... Aha, there's a door. What? Where are we? Ahem. Please ignore that outburst. We need to stay calm and professional. I hear hissing in the distance. Yeah, it is nice to be able to see Anna's face. Anything else hidden here? Not on this side. No. What about over here? Aha. Uh -huh. Anything else? Obviously the game there is the main event, but... I just want to look around a little before we go into that. Okay. You see some snakes up ahead. They appear to be venomous. Do you pee your pants? Not if I can help it. Let's scan them. Snack. Snacks attack with an intense burning bite. Fallen snacks will immediately be avenged by other snacks. Do not eat. And earth damage and bio damage will work against these. I mean, they aren't resistant to any damage types, but they are weak against earth and bio damage. So any element will work, but earth and bio will work especially well. And apparently since the other snakes become more dangerous after one dies, we should try and and uh, distribute damage pretty evenly among all the snakes. So that if possible, we'll kill them all with the same attack or at least within the same round of battle. So far so good with the even distribution of damage. Thank you, slime bunny. 
They do deal a bit of damage though. No legs already needs a heal. Maybe we could use our limit breaks. You almost destroy the whole planet with a reckless attack. Well, almost. Not quite. Sushi cat for some heals. Oi, go nipple at something else. So far we are going along quite nicely. A very even distribution of damage. If we can just keep this up, this will go pretty smoothly. Although the middle snake has kind of taken a bit more damage. Oops! Yikes. A snake appears to have bit its own tongue and died. Well, so much about the even distribution of damage. One of the few occasions where death as a side effect or a status effect of an attack on a foe is not a welcome thing. Something doesn't sit right with me about playing this cursed video game in the middle of an evil forest. Let's kill these snakes and get out of here. Oh, a new snake with full health spawned in the place of that one that just died. Well, that's not good. Now that one is in pretty much full health and the others are, well, not. And if new ones keep spawning, you are impressed by how bouncy these snakes are. So if new ones keep spawning in the place of dead ones, then we really, really are in for a long fight. Because we need to get back into a situation where the damage is so evenly spread that we can kill all of the snakes within pretty much a single round of battle so that new ones don't have a chance to spawn in the place of dead ones. We could be here a while, because that uppermost snake is... Oh wow, no legs. You panic as your party begins to fall apart. Um, not really. Snow leg. No legs have the auto revive. And then we have the regen, so we are not in a bad place. We just need to... Well... 
maybe if we do this, it'll also deal enough damage to the... No, it didn't. So basically, the snake down there is going to die. Yeah, more snakes are coming out of the forest. We're not gonna be able to win if we just kill them one by one. I kind of figured that out already, Lance. So it took me a while to get from here to a situation where we had the all, all of the three snacks in um, in a place where we could, where we could uh, deal with them within a single round. So I am just going to spare you a few minutes of battling and I'll be back when I am at a place where I can finish the battle in such a way that no new snacks will spawn. Okay, here we are. The battle is almost over. We've got all three snacks into a situation like this. And then we just need to deal with these two because that one died of the poison and virus and those damage over time effects. And we got lucky enough that the remaining two chose to surrender. So here we are. You have defeated all of the snakes. Upon closer inspection, you see that they were not snakes, they were just noodles. So that fight took a while. There, we beat the game. Now let's teleport out of here before we get voodooed. I gotta grab some chests first, but okay. Um, I am not going to comment on the double talk there. Uh, Fighter B makes first drop 2% more gold. Chest grabbing can be taken a couple of different ways. Evil Fungus makes first drop 2% more gold. But at the moment we will just assume that he meant grabbing treasure chests. Okay, let's go into the ice cave or the crystal caverns and um, get on with solving the the um, ice walking puzzles. Leave our boots here and get rid of these. Okay, so the idea here is to use these stone blocks in such a way that they make it pos possible for us to get to all of the treasure chests. It took me a while to figure things out, so as always I will spare you a few minutes of puzzling and be back 
once I have figured something out. So here we are. In order to get to the rightmost treasure chest, we need to move that stone block into that position that I just moved it into. That will stop us from uh, sliding off the ice when we come down and will enable us to get to the treasure chest. As you can see right here. There we are. And this is how we get to the chest, which only contained snowballs. Next, we will try to get to these two treasure chests in the middle. And I will need to move those stone blocks on the side there. So I will be right back once I have figured out how to do that. Okay, so in order to get to the treasure chests in the middle and move the stone blocks on the right to where they need to be, I needed to actually reset this puzzle. And so I went into the room on the right side and a bit of dialogue appeared. Are they drawing energy from these crystals? Was I doing it wrong? It's the crystals that I should have been collecting, not the monoliths. I just wanted to show you that so that you don't miss out on any little bit that you may find interesting. So we need to move this stone block a little bit to the right and down because we need to move the stone block that is kind of in the upper right corner here where the mouse cursor currently is so that it'll enable us to stay on the ice and actually get to those treasure chests in in the um, upper middle there. So in order to be able to move that we need to move this aside a bit and Go from here to here and push that to the right and down. All the way down. I was just making sure here that I don't do anything that'll make trouble for me in the future. That'll, um, necessitate another resetting of this puzzle. So from this spot I need to get up there and the answer is quite obvious. I just need to move down and to the left. There we go. Sometimes it can take a bit to figure out something that is completely obvious. So here I was thinking that if I move that down there, I won't be able to push it to the left where it needs to go. 
and so I was thinking is there another way of getting this block to where it needs to be? But no there actually isn't. What I've uh, failed to notice here is that the corridor on the right is actually three wide. So there we go. I was able to go there and push the block into place. Because originally I saw the corridor as too wide and didn't think I would be able to get myself into position to push that block into its place. But turns out the corridor was actually three wide and there was no problem. Okay, so here I was already thinking a little bit about how to get to the leftmost treasure chest. But then I figured, oh well, one thing at a time. Let's just get to those treasure chests in the middle first and figure a way to the treasure chest on the left from there. So here is how we get to the middle. Metal gears, copper pipes and an accelerator. Manipulate space-time to your advantage. May unleash slowdown while attacking. Interesting. Pizza. Orange juice and cake. Let's have Natalie eat the cake. And let's upgrade the weapon. See what it turns into. Randomly costs, costs speed up between turns. Occasionally gives the player haste. Nice. Very nice. So now we need something there on that spot where my mouse cursor currently, well, was, um, in order to enable us to get to the treasure chest on the left. So the answer, of course, is for us to Ugh, I hate it when he just picks a root of his own. So the answer is, no, 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 dude, this way. The answer is for us to get down here, push this one out of the way. And then we need to get up here push that one out of the way dude come on and finally we need to get no here that's right just follow the cursor we need to get this one over here and push it into place right there and now we need to get back up there to the middle, like so, and then here. Solid water, liquid ice and sapphire. And that's all the treasures in this room. So now we can move on to the room on the right.
like so. And let's save here for now and figure this puzzle out next time. If you like this video, please leave it a like. And if you'd like to support my efforts here on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. It is quick and easy and doesn't cost you a thing, but it does help me a lot. Thanks so much for watching. I wish you a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you in the comments below.